Kilkenny have won the All-Ireland. It's taken two matches, but they are the champions again after a gap of two years. Brian Cody jumping for joy there. Why not? Champions for the tenth time in the Brian Cody era. We ended up, you know, having great success last year. Um, it was um, it was a challenging year. We had some serious games, but we we finished up, you know, and we obviously the other and final went to the replay and two great games, and you know we came up on the right side of it. It was hard won, you know. Obviously, I mean Tipperary, an excellent team, and you know we had to, to fight to it now, like to, 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 to get there first of all. And obviously, with the, with the, um, Ireland semi final with Limerick was was a massive game as well, you know, and it was you know, one of those great days in Crow Park. Uh, very heavy rain and all the rest of it, bad weather, but a great game, terrific contest. So, you know, we, the, the year went like that and we were tested in every single way. But, you know, thankfully we withstood the tests and we came out on top. Dublin are a serious, serious team, I think. Obviously, Galway are a very, very serious team. Offaly, I believe, have made progress as well, and I think they're gearing towards, they're gearing towards um, making, having a few upsets in the Championship, I've no doubt about that. Wexford had a terrific year last year. I mean, it didn't end up well for them in the game against Limerick, but before that, I mean, they took on the All Ireland Champions twice and beat them in the, in the replay. It was a huge testament to, their, to what they were all about. And I see Wexford now as, as potential Leinster champions, there's no doubt about that. But I mean, the, the reality of it is there's a few teams in Leinster playing in Leinster right now, and not only are they potential Leinster champions, they're potential All Ireland champions. You know, the, the quality is there. Look at the league final, you know, Watford and Cork, two monster teams, and Watford playing with, you know, outstanding levels of just about everything, and you know, we know what Cork can, can bring to it. There's no point on with Tipperary, everybody knows the quality that's there. And, and Limerick, like last year, when I think back to Limerick and the game that we had in the Ireland semi-final, I was saying to myself, this team is going to be so serious next year, they're, they're definitely all Ireland contenders. And Clare, obviously, um, all Ireland champions a couple of years ago, and it's for certain that they have the quality of the 121 wins behind them and that. So look at, I mean, it's, it's, it's wide open. I think it's probably this year's championship is probably the most competitive, maybe, potentially, that's been there for a number of years and it's something that's well worth looking forward to. You know, it's, it's what the whole year revolves around, getting through the championship, you know, and taking on the challenges there, you're getting ready, you're planning, you're plotting and everything else. I suppose there's, there's a certain understandable sense out there right now that it's going to be a very, very difficult year for us to try and um, replace the quality that's gone from us. And that brings, us, it brings an extra challenge and that's, that's good. And I think that's the, most, that's the most enjoyable thing about it, the challenge that's there and, and, and trying, to, trying to get everything in place that, you will be, that we will be competitive first of all because that's the first thing we have to be. And the championship starts and everybody looks forward to that and that's what the whole year sort of is, is about really um, when the league is over. So it's an exciting time and the time we're looking forward to.